Hello again everyone, this is Tim Buell for GottaBeMobile.com and I'm back today with another Mac video tutorial. Today's topic is how to use multiple photos libraries on Mac. Now Photos is the photo editing application that replaced iPhoto on the Mac OS and it's something that most users are probably finding themselves using for personal photos and things like that. But say you want to get into photography, you want to start shooting say concert photography and you want to have those photos differentiated from your personal life photos. Fortunately you are able to do so with photos just like you were in iPhoto. The way to get a new library started is hold down the option key on your keyboard as you click the icon for photos on your dock. From there, a new dialog box should appear, allowing you to choose your library based on any current or past iPhoto libraries or Aperture, things that can be opened with the Photos application. But for our purposes, we are gonna create a new library. So go ahead and click New Library and go ahead and choose what you're gonna call this as well as where it's going to reside on the computer within the Finder. Now, as I mentioned, this is a library-based system. So as you notice, there was maybe potentially more than one option available. And yes, that means you can reboot to any of these libraries at any point in time, again, by holding the option key on the keyboard. But you can start editing and importing different photos into these libraries, just like you would if it was the only one you'd ever used. And again, hold option down when you restart the Photos app in order to choose the right library for you to open upon this current session. I found this to be incredibly helpful, especially when you do have maybe more personal photos and then you have business or work-related photos, you can instantly hop back and forth by quitting the app and restarting and choosing the proper library upon startup. So there you go. Now you know how to manage multiple photos libraries using the photos application on your Mac. Don't forget to use your option key and keep those photos separate. Take care.